Hey guys, so for today's video I wanted to share with you guys five things that I look for in a guy. I'm really excited to do this video because I've never done a video about guys before, so this should be pretty interesting. But before we get started, I just wanted to ask you to comment down below some of the things that you look for in a guy because I would really love to hear from you and what you guys think. So with that, let's just go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so these five things that I'm going to mention to you guys aren't really in a particular order. They're just five general things that I look for in a guy. So one of the first things that I look for is maturity. And I think that this is one of the reasons why I haven't been able to get a boyfriend. Because guys are just so lacking in the maturity department these days. Um, when I was in high school, I thought guys were really immature, and so I just... They were like off limits because I just wasn't interested. And then I don't know why I thought that when I graduated high school and moved on to college that guys would just transform into these really mature human beings because that's like the complete opposite of what happened. I think that when I got to college, I noticed that guys were slightly more immature just because of the environment that they're in, I guess. But because of the immaturity of guys my age, I usually tend to go for guys who are slightly older than I am. But the problem with this is that guys who are slightly older than I am don't go for girls like me because I look like I'm 14 years old, not 20. And so guys who are 24 are not going to take a risk of dating a girl like me because that could be a crime. And I'm sure that they don't want to go to jail. And so these are just my life struggles right here. So another thing that I look for in a guy is intelligence. And there's something about an intelligent guy that is just really attractive to me because it just seems like he has it all figured out. Um, I think it's really important to be able to have intelligent conversations with someone that I like because it's like a way of bonding. Bonding over intelligent conversations. I love it. But also, one of my greatest pet peeves is misspelling spelling mistakes like in texts like just in everyday life when people spell the easiest words wrong I can't I cannot it hurts my soul and so when I'm texting someone and there is a three-letter word that is misspelled I just it's it's very hard for me to deal with and so if my boyfriend was intelligent then these spelling mistakes would probably be greatly decreased which is very important because um, it's important not to irk each other. The peeving is just bad. And so if a guy is intelligent, he would not make these mistakes. We could have intelligent conversations and all will be well. Another thing that I expect in a guy is that he's genuine and kind. Um, there's nothing that I hate more than a guy who's just so into himself that he doesn't consider like everyone else around him. He just thinks he is the greatest thing to ever walk the planet. To me, that's not the kind of guy who's genuine and kind. He's just a guy who cares most about himself and not about you. And so... I am kind of more laid back. I don't always like love myself, but I accept myself and that's important. And I'd want a guy who kind of does the same, a guy that accepts himself and me, not a guy who is just so into himself that he doesn't care about me, he just cares about the way that he looks. So I don't know if that even makes sense, but in my mind it does. Uh, the guy has to be genuine and kind, it's really important to me. Another thing that I look for is an adventurous and a fun guy, because <laughs> a fun guy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Have you ever seen those shirts, I'm a fun guy? <laughs> but anyway, um, I really hate just sitting at home doing things that I always do. I like to be trying new things. It's part of being adventurous, and I think it's really good for a relationship to just do things together. And so if we were just sitting on the couch doing the same old thing every weekend, it would get boring. And so I definitely want a guy who will try new things with me. It doesn't mean like going out and trying new things all the time. We can stay home and try new things. But there definitely has to be that element of fun in a relationship. And sometimes I can be a little bit uptight, I'll be honest. And so I think that having a fun guy who likes to do things will definitely help to balance me out and bring me out of my shell a little bit, which I think is really good for me. One of the last things that I look for in a guy is just someone who has a little bit of an edge. Um, I don't know what it is about guys who wear Converse and Vans and 
have some tattoos that's just really attractive to me. And this is something that I've just recently realized. Like in my earlier teenage years, like 16, 17, 18, I had no idea what kind of guy I wanted. I just looked at guys and I was either like, you know, yay or nay. But I think this is a really important realization to have because there are a lot of guys out there and you can't look at them all. Um, so now that I know what kind of guy I'm generally attracted to, it makes it a little bit easier. Um, I can be freaking weird sometimes, I will admit that. And so I'm really looking for a guy who can embrace my weirdness and be weird with me. That's what she said, maybe? <laughs> so off topic and so inappropriate what just happened okay but yeah definitely someone who has a little bit of an edge can be weird and nerdy I love it so guys those were my top five things that I look for in a guy I had a ton of fun making this video it was great but remember to comment down below and tell me some of the things that you guys look for in a guy um, I just think it's interesting how different people have different expectations and so I'm really excited to hear what you have to say uh, but that's gonna be it for today's video I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I will see you next time Is it playing? I can't... Like, why? Where's the light? Show me the light. It was recording. Oh, gosh, I hate when that happens. There's a light on the front of my camera, and whenever it is recording, it usually flashes red, but sometimes it doesn't, and so I never know when it's recording.